Breaking news. Jaclyn Hill, YouTube extraordinaire, has launched a product people are less than happy with. Unprecedented event or happens often. More at five. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my review, first impressions, swatches of the new Jaclyn Hill or Jaclyn Cosmetics lipstick collection. Eh? If you haven't been on the internet for the last few days, I I'm shocked to say it, but something that Jaclyn Hill released garnered a little bit of criticism. I know, I know. It's never been done before, it never happens. I've never experienced this in my time on YouTube. Drama in the beauty community is so rare that I can't even believe this is happening, but uh, here we are. So with this entire launch so far, it has been, <laughs> it has not been uneventful. Basically, in a brief synopsis, and when I say brief, I mean probably gonna take me 15 to 20 minutes to talk about. A few years back, she mentioned that she was going to release Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, a lot of teasing online. And then as time went on, people were like, where is it? And nothing ever happened. Eventually, about four years later, Jaclyn Cosmetics comes out. We are ready, we are waiting, we have been waiting for this, and lo and behold, it is here. Launch day comes and everybody scrambles to the website, myself included. We all know, I have a history with Jaclyn Hill. We had an interaction. We had an interaction. And then I said, yeah, <laughs> you bitch. I rushed to the website at nine o'clock in the morning when it launched on May 30th. I was ready to go because I wanted to make sure that I was able to purchase the products immediately as this went live. Because as I was to understand it, I was not on PR because I had heard nothing and received nothing. So instead I would buy the products, no biggie. So I went on the website at nine o'clock in the morning. I'm talking on the dot, added a few of the bundles to my cart, didn't care what they were. I just needed to make it happen. I hit checkout and then it put me in line to check out and it said, do not refer fresh page or you will lose your place in line. So I just kept waiting and for about 15 minutes I sat in that queue and when I finally reached the end it said some products that were in your cart have sold out. Whatever. So I went to Twitter and I was like the Jaclyn Hill website told me I wouldn't lose my place in line and then I clicked pay and it kicked me off. Then it told me my items were no longer available but I was checking out at 9.01. Kept kicking me off and like closing down the website and then I'd have to re-enter the website. Every time this would happen products that I was wanting to purchase were were being sold out. The website was clearly overloaded with people. And eventually I ended up having to buy the entire collection. My total came out to $333.10. That was 21 minutes after I started trying to check out. So I said, after 21 minutes in checkout land, I finally got through. The price makes me want to throw up and scream, but at least you guys will get a review. I just want to clarify that when I say the price wanted to make me throw up and scream, it's not because I necessarily think that 20 lipsticks for $300 is too expensive. I throw up and scream whenever I'm paying $300 for anything. It doesn't matter if it's groceries. It doesn't matter if it's a phone bill. I just am a cheap ass bitch and you know, I'm, I'm frugal and I can't, I can't help it. I started getting some replies from YouTubers and peers of mine like Samantha Ravindahl saying that she was stuck in checkout land as well. Same with Temptalia, Jamie French, Here for the Tea. A bunch of people were mentioning same thing was happening to them. And then on Sunday after that, I received an email email from Jaclyn Cosmetics saying, hey, we uh, know you requested upgraded shipping and have been waiting a few days for us to get our ship together. We've been overwhelmed with all the love and we're working very hard to get all the orders out. Your so rich lipstick order, shipping confirmation and tracking info will be emailed to you with 24 hours. To help make up for the wait, we are refunding your upgraded shipping fee. Please allow two to five days for a refund process to complete. And then I received an email saying your refund has gone through. It's all done now. You should notice 1302 in your bank account. So I did receive a refund for $13.02 for the expedited shipping. Now I purchased that in hopes that I actually would be getting my order kind of quicker than other people so I could get my review out before other people started receiving their lipsticks or before other people started ordering. So that's the thing that's the beautiful part about PR is that when you receive it beforehand, you're able to get your videos out and then people are able to see the lipstick swatches, see them on my skin tone, see my review for them before they order so that they know, hey, based on people that either I trust their recommendation or they have similar skin tone to me or I like the products that they usually recommend to me. So that's why people like to see PR reviews first because they come out, people are able to see them and then people are able to form their own opinions before the launch so they can make that decision on their own. When they don't happen that way though, people are just kind of basing it off of the initial video that Jacqueline had done and then the swatches that they can see on Instagram, etc. Meanwhile, people who did not get expedited shipping were already receiving their orders. I mean, next day. And then people who got expedited shipping were getting these emails saying, hey, you're not gonna get your order super quickly, sorry. 
it's honestly such a dumb problem. Like this is lipsticks for fuck's sake. It's just ordering offline, but it is kind of one of those things where you're like, how did you underestimate this many people being on your website? How is this still an issue after the amount of influencer launches that have happened at this point? Okay, I digress. I place my order and the next day I get a tweet from Jacqueline Hill saying, hey girl, you're on my PR list. You should be getting your package tomorrow. So incredibly grateful. Thank you so much, man. I'm gonna have a shit ton of lipsticks. I can tell you that much. So I was really excited about that. I, I really didn't think I would be on the PR list. So that's why I ordered everything. And I wasn't told that I was gonna be on the PR list because normally PR shows up days before the launch so that influencers have times to try things and can get their reviews out beforehand. And it helps the consumer as well. And a lot of times, generally it's better to have the reviews out first. Um, I have heard that some people theorize that that's because then there can be no negative reviews and then more people will buy it on launch day and then the reviews will come out after. So I finally did receive my items. I got my PR package and my purchased package on the 5th. I opened up the PR package initially, looked at all the shades, did notice some discrepancies, but thought, eh, they're not so bad. I mean, there's definitely spots of them that are like weird. And Jen Loves Reviews talked about it in her video. There's like filmy spots or, you know, we don't know, is it is it just a, a moisture spot? Is it mold? Who knows? Maybe I'll whip out the microscope, you know. Sitting down today to film this video, fully expecting that, you know, there's definitely gonna be, you know, some things that I'm gonna touch on and talk about. I've seen the drama channel videos. I've seen people's tweets about it. This one gal reached out to Jacqueline on Twitter and said like, hey, I don't know what's happening. My lipstick is chunking up and getting these little beads in it. Jacqueline replied with basically along the lines of, hey, obviously this lipstick's already been used. This isn't fresh out of the tube. Sometimes this can happen if you have dry lips, etc. But now we've seen this happening more and more and more and more and more and more people coming out and all these people aren't lying not people aren't taking their lipsticks out of the package swiping them on and then dipping them in sand to try to dupe people and get clout on twitter and the majority of people aren't spending their hard-earned money on lipsticks to shit all over them on twitter and maybe i'm wrong but maybe i'm not so i did take a couple of screenshots because as of right now when i am filming this video jacqueline has come out and left a statement and said the following. I'm so sorry if the product you received was anything less than perfect. If you are unsatisfied in any way, contact help at jacquelinecosmetics.com and we will be sure to give you a full refund as well as send you a new product. I stand behind my brand and will do whatever it takes to make sure my customers are satisfied. I am so grateful for your constant love and support and patience that who have given me. What? So when I started filming this video today, I had watched a bunch of other people's reviews. I would watched drama channel videos. I've watched commentary videos. I've seen tweets. I've seen messages. I've seen Instagrams. I've seen all over the spectrum of complaints and people praising these lipsticks. When I went in to film this video today, I sat down and I said, I think that there is a lot of exaggeration surrounding this launch. I think that people want to find issues with it because it's Jaclyn Hill. I said, I think that people are really going into this whole entire situation with a fine tooth comb. Probably people just being overly picky on this launch because it is Jaclyn Hill and there have been issues with past launches of hers. And I fully expected to go into this, open up all of the lipsticks and be like, shit's beautiful, shit's perfect. And boy, was I wrong. I watched that girl Shay XO's video last night. It was very in depth. She showed every single lipstick. She swatched them all. She talked about all of her issues with them and issues that there have been with people complaining about little beads and ball ups in their lipsticks. Basically, what people are having happen is that when they are applying their lipsticks, they are noticing that there are little balls and beads in the lipsticks. And when they are swiping them on, it's causing little lines. And they're finding that it, they, some people think it's plastic. Some people think it is one of the butters in the lipsticks chunking up. The other day when I received the initial PR package, I opened up all of the lipsticks and I just kind of looked at them all and I noticed a few issues, but I didn't notice a ton. What I did notice is what I saw in Jen Loves Reviews videos that she uploaded, I think today. And I saw that there were either moisture spots, mold. I don't know what it is and I can't confirm it. Maybe I'll whip out my uh, microscope and get really in there and see if I can see what's going on. How a couple of little spots on my lipsticks in the PR kits, but most of them look all right. They don't look fantastic, but they don't look bad. Some of them are just like a little concerning. I've, I haven't quite seen that in lipsticks before. Don't know what's going on. And then I received my package of the purchased lipsticks. So there's a theory going around out there that the purchased lipsticks are different than PR lipsticks. Manny MUA on his page has a series called PR versus purchase. And I love the idea of that because I always have kind of thought, maybe just a little inkling in my mind, maybe there is a difference between what they send influencers and what they send the general public. Highly doubt it, 
it, but I always wondered. I don't know if this is the case for this or if maybe just the purchase package ended up being worse. But when I opened my Jaclyn lipsticks today and I grabbed the ones that were from the purchased collection, I noticed so many issues and I was immediately shocked. I did not expect it. I did not see this coming. Some of these lipsticks are full of hair, lint, fuzz, holes, lots of little like holes, air bubbles. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Again, they may have that sort of chunked up texture when I apply them, but some of these are so bothersome that I don't even want to apply them. What I was gonna do is I was gonna use one of these in a giveaway. I was gonna give away the entire PR kit and I was going to keep the ones that I had purchased. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try on the PR kit today because they were the less gross of all of them. And I'm going to probably not use the other lipsticks and either keep them or return them because they are bothersome. Bothersome. Some of the lipsticks, I will say, look just fine. Some of them look hideous. I'm going to insert some photos of the lipsticks that I'm talking about, and you'll see immediately that I am not exaggerating. I thought that people might be because I thought it's Jaclyn Hill. There have been issues with previous launches that she's had. She gets a lot of scrutiny for a lot of things that she has done. I don't know why, but seemingly is a very easy target for people to really kind of shit all over. The first collection that she launched with Becca, Champagne Pop did well, came out with the whole face collection, and that whole thing was an absolute disaster. The quality control was absolutely terrible, so they pulled all of the the eye palettes destroyed them all and left it at that. Jacqueline launches her palette with Morphe. That one goes off without a hitch. Then she launched the Vault Collection, widely hated across the board. People saying that it was super patchy, really difficult to blend. The pigment just wasn't there. So what happens? They pull the palettes. They say, hey, quality control isn't there. We don't know what happened. We're gonna destroy all of those palettes, millions of dollars worth. We're gonna repress new ones and re-release them. They did that so quickly, people were like, that's a little fishy. I don't know what's going on with that. People are starting to receive their second vault collection and people are like peeling stickers off the back that says like vault two, but it's over the vault one sticker. People did a side-by-side -side comparison and said, hey, these are exactly the same. And it just kind of died off. Now we are here to Jaclyn Cosmetics. And I have a couple of theories on this that I'm just going to share now. These could completely be incorrect, but I'm gonna give my kind of thoughts. So when I look at this lipstick collection, which you guys will see everything in a second, I'm not trying to be overly critical of this, but it's just bizarre. So first and foremost, I want to make mention that this is just my thoughts, my theory. With this collection, what people are having issue with is that they're receiving their products. First of all, some of them are coming broken, damaged, melted. That can be the case with any product. There's always gonna be defect. There's gonna be room for error in any launch, but it's weird because so many people are having issues and people People are very vocal about it on Twitter. And for this collection, these lipsticks aren't super expensive, but they're not super cheap. It's not like they're $3, they're $18 a piece. I think that the packaging is really nice. I think that the concept is really, really nice. I think that Jaclyn doesn't want this to happen, but I do have a theory. And I may be wrong in this, and I probably am, and I hope I am, but I do not know. Jaclyn has been formulating these lipsticks for years. This is no surprise to anyone. If you follow Jaclyn Hill for any length of time, she's made it very obvious and very apparent that she's been working on Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics since like 2014. She's been doing this, and I feel like and this is again, just my theory, but that these are old. And I don't think that it was because she was trying to dupe anyone. I think that what happened, and I'm probably wrong here, and maybe I am, and I probably shouldn't even be sharing this theory online because again, it, it could be spreading misinformation, but I'm just gonna give my opinion. And that is the logo. JH on the logo, and her name is Jaclyn Hill. However, she did split from her husband John Hill last year, or maybe the year before, but I do believe it was last year. She has since changed the name of her brand to Jaclyn Cosmetics, but the label on the lipstick still says JH, which leads me to believe that these lipsticks are at least a year old. And I'm not trying to be a nitpicky little bitch here. I really wanna give her the benefit of the doubt. And I don't think that this is a thought in her mind of like, how can I do my subscribers? How can I make people pay me for these products? I think a lot of it probably comes down to there was a lot going on in her life. She probably wanted to change the branding, which she has done to Jaclyn Cosmetics, but the lipstick bullets have already been made. The lipsticks were already sitting there ready to go. And it was either remake all these lipsticks and spend a shit ton of money or use the JH lipsticks and then possibly change the branding later. Maybe the JH is not going anywhere. I don't know. But the fact that everything else is branded as Jaclyn Cosmetics and then this is JH just maybe leads me to believe that this is not new. 
and that these just weren't made recently and that these have maybe been sitting on the shelves. The smell makes me feel that way. And frankly, the quality, the quality control on these is poor at best. There is a lot of little holes in many of them, which is very bothersome, <laughs> very bothersome to look at. There is a lot of little fuzzies and hair. There is marks in some of them. Some of them are broken. Some of them are melted. Some of them have chunks out of them. And a lot of them are just less than perfect. Some of them look perfect. That's a huge one, I know. It's like there's more than one. Yep, definitely. Uh, oh my gosh. I just pulled that out. Holy cow. And I don't want Jacqueline to be embarrassed. I cannot fathom coming out with a product and having it be less than perfect and having the internet widely shitting all over it. And I don't like doing it. I didn't want to film this video. I didn't even want to do this. I wanted to come on and be like, Jacqueline, you did the damn thing. This is going to be an incredibly successful brand. I'm very proud of you. And it's not like I'm not proud of her. She launched her own brand for crying out loud. To me, it's not even about that. It's all about the principle of it. It's to say, people have been waiting for this for a really long time and I know things happen. Her life has made so many changes in the last year and I'm not discounting that at all. She's been through a lot. There's been a lot of things that have happened in her personal life and I'm sure that a lot of these things, legalities, have pushed back launches, have made it hard to manufacture products and overall, be it just it just kind of slowed things down a bit. That doesn't change the fact of the finished product. This is what I do. I can't give something a pass just for that re reason. And do I feel comfortable recommending these to you off of my first impression? Absolutely not. These might just glide on like butter. They look incredible on Jacqueline. And a lot of people aren't complaining about the formula, saying that it is very comfortable, it is very beautiful, it is very pigmented, and it is really lovely on the lips. But that the product itself is unstable and not quality tested in any way. So Jaclyn Cosmetics came out just today and released a statement that I will read you. In rare circumstances, some lipsticks were exposed to high temperatures or the raw materials were not blended thoroughly, and that is not acceptable to us. As of now, we are seeing less than 0.1% with issues, but we see your complaints on social and want to fix things. I think the reason, at least for me, that I sit here and overanalyze each individual thing today, and it seems like, God, you're so nitpicky about this shit, and I agree, it's lipstick. It, it kills my brain cells to be talking about this this on such a serious way. But the reason that I am addressing it is because it's so widely being complained about that I'm like, okay, I've got to see for myself. This isn't just me ignoring everything. I can't just go into it ignoring everything. I can't just go into it pretending like it doesn't exist and like this didn't happen because this is happening to a lot of people. I think that you work very hard for your money and you should spend it in an area that I think that you feel is a good place to be doing so. I don't feel comfortable being like, all right, guys, I'm just gonna ignore all the drama and move right into things. Because it's not just drama at the end of the day. This is really bizarro stuff that could be kind of icky. So this is Amaze Balls from the actual purchased kit. It has that same little spot on the tip. I'm not sure what that is. All right, this is Obsessed. I took it directly out of the package. As you can see, there's like a little fuzzy on it. I've had a few with that. I thought it was me at first. So this one is Tipsy. You can see what the bottom looks like. Pretty messy. And then this one at the top has some issues as well. It's not terrible, but it's not great. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I kind of felt like people were exaggerating when they were talking about this shit on their videos. I was like, okay, it can't be that bad. And then now that I'm opening them, I'm like, I do, I, do, I definitely do see what people are talking about. This is so weird. There's like fuzzies on all of them. Like. It's, it's almost like it's cat hair. Okay, speaking from cat hair lady, but I don't know if you guys can see. Can you guys see what I'm talking about on the tip? Do you see that fuzzy? At first I was like, people are being a little nitpicky and now I'm like, okay, I don't know if I have, I have over, ever opened a lipstick with like fuzzes on it. 
Definitely think there needs to be a conversation with the manufacturer or the lab or whoever the thick is doing this because if this were my product and people were like, it's weird, I'm receiving like bubbles and holes and, and uh, chunks and hairs, I'd be like, are you fucking kidding me? Like get your shit together, lab, what are you doing? Tell me that you wouldn't be pissed as, as somebody who's worked so long and tried to make everything perfect and who has always had some negativity surrounding previous launches, you definitely wouldn't want more of that unless it does drive sales or something, I'm not sure. Oh, this one's weird looking. This one is gossip. You see that? The whole bottom of it's all smudgy, but look at the top of this. There's like little holes in it. That's so bothersome. In 2017, Jacqueline did tweet out a photo of a defective lab sample. And in that photo, it showed like a holy lipstick and it was like really bothersome. And somebody was like, what the hell brand is this? She's like, oh, it's mine. It's a defective lab sample. And these almost remind me of like a less horrifying version of that defective lab sample. Yeah, there's definitely, there is massive issues, dude. Like I, I just, I really thought this was exaggerating, but it's really not. Cause look at this. There's like a fuzzy stuck in the end of it. You see that? Can you see? It's like a hair almost. It's so gross. I can't believe this. It's so fucking weird, dude. It's so gross. What the shit? Can you guys see this? This is what I'm used to when it comes to a lipstick. That is that one. It's just totally flat, totally good, totally normal. And then this one is just, it just looks old or like, I don't know, it's weird. This one also right out of the package has like a little fuzzy on it, like a white chunk of something. The shade Ambition, there's like chunks of something on the end of this one, like white little marks and chunks, I don't know what they are. And the shade Badass, which has no sticker on the bottom. Okay, so for the last 35 minutes, I've been sitting here taking pictures of the lipsticks. I've been opening each individual one, taking pictures of ones that have issues and just trying to show you guys an up close. The camera can't do it. The photos can actually do it. And I opened this lipstick and I am absolutely shocked. This is the shade Decaf and this is from the Purchased Collection. So this is not from my PR collection. I'm gonna insert a photo of this here and see if it can do it justice to just how horrifying this lipstick looks. I will try to show you right here on camera. Not sure if it can. I'm gonna turn the lights down because that sometimes can show a little bit better. Can you see that? I'm not sure how well that's showing up on camera, what you guys can see. Try to zoom you. I'm just, mortified mortified i i just can't even believe this is real i i truly thought people were exaggerating they are not this is covered in hair just covered in it it's, the whole top of it is fuzzy i mean what is even happening there's a bunch of little holes i pulled this directly out of the package and i am just in disbelief right now that this is even oh my god yuck it is just covered in hair there's hair all over the bottom of it can you guys see that? Fucking gross. So I was gonna do a giveaway with the lipsticks that I'm not using and I'm not going to do a giveaway. This, these are gross. I can't believe I'm even saying this. I fully, fully expected to come into this video and be like, you guys, people are being exaggerated. They just like to drag Jaclyn Hill. That's what's happening. That's not the case. I really didn't want to look at a lipstick and be like, the fuck is that? Like. It's hairy. I'm, I feel so bad for Jacqueline in this because I just feel like this, I don't know. I feel like for so, there's gotta be something going on. These are either insanely old and have been sitting on the shelves for a very long time. They smell old to me. That may not mean anything. Maybe that's just the scent that they were made with. I, I have no idea. They could have either been sitting on the shelves for a very long time, caps off. I, I literally don't know why ever there would be a hairy lipstick. I'm just so blown away by this entire thing. I, I feel like, what is happening? I am not sure if this is hair, if this is mold. It does look like hair, fuzzies. It looks like fuzzies, like it, like it, like somebody was flicking around a wool blanket and as this was curing. I don't even know what to say in this video. I don't even know what to do. Do I try these on? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put these purchased ones on my lips. These purchased ones look bothersome. There's hair in multiple of them. I'm going to roll this back down and just put it into the case just so that I can set it aside. This is the shade decaf. This one is the worst one so far. I don't even know what to do with this video. Maybe I should go whip out my microscope and I think I'm going to. So BRB, I'm going to go grab my microscope and I'm going to try if I can to see what the hell's going on with some of these products. 
So as you can see in here, I can focus it. I'm gonna like do it on my finger real quick. You can focus it. Oh, wow. You need to wash your hands, Christy. Jeez. Let's pick one of the ickiest ones. I think I'm gonna use, is it cheeky? Oh my God. All right, so that was the shade Cheeky. Uh, it's definitely bothersome looking. We're gonna do a control lipstick though. Let's do the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW. Let's look at that for control to see what a regular average lipstick looks like, okay? Doesn't have any hairs, doesn't have any holes. No hairs, no holes, that's what I always say. <laughs> this is the shade Gossip. Oh dear. Lots of little air bubbles. Okay, this is the one I'm the most interested to see because this is the actual hairiest one. I don't know what these hairs are, but we are about to find out. That is absolutely mortifying. What are these hairs? What is that? I don't even know. All right, I wanna look at one of the ones that has that like weird spot on it. Look at that, that's my chair. Weird, my shirt. Let's look at my highlight real quick. Sorry, this has nothing to do with anything. Oh! Manny, that's your highlight right there. It doesn't look like mold or anything. It's hard to tell. This is not a scientific way to do this at all because this is just like a magnification microscope, you know? Oh my god. If anyone has trypophobia, tell me that doesn't just fuck you up right there, dude. I want to pull out that one that had that hideous hair in it. You know what I'm talking about, you know? Had like that black hair in it. Here it is. Hmm, what is that? Let's look at another control because I don't feel like it's fair to just be like, all right, well, these are all gross. So let's look at a MAC lipstick, unused, up close. Whatever that little line is, but other than that, it looks pretty normal. Yuck, dude. This place should be just ashamed. Ashamed. Oh, God. Ugh. Help me Lord. Let me know if you guys are interested in more microscope videos. Cause like, look at that. That's my freaking eyebrow. What in the gross whiskers? Oh, oh, I have dry shampoo. That's what this is. I, I dry shampooed my hair today. I was like, dude, I have dandruff. No dude, that is dry shampoo. Yuck, bro, that's my hair. I never dry shampoo. I shower almost every single day, but look how it looks in your hair. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I'll tell you why I know that's dry shampoo, because I didn't put any down here in the back. 
and that's what the back of my hair looks like. When you purchase the collection, this is what you're going to get. It looks like this. It says Jacqueline right here. When you open it up, you've got all of your lipsticks here. This right here is the PR mailer. This right here is acrylic. And then there are these plastic diamonds on the inside. So as you can see with the PR mailer, there is a light on the inside that flicks on when you open it up. This packaging is super beautiful and I can understand why it was done this way. To me, it just feels very wasteful. It's huge. The lighting on the inside, especially these plastic little diamonds, wow, gorgeous. And I feel like it gives such a cool look to the packaging. It's, it's just tiny little plastics that are gonna go straight into landfills. Is there a way that I can do this still beautifully and still impactful, but with sustainable packaging? And I definitely think there's a way. And I think that way is this. All right, so let's get into actually trying the lipsticks on our mouths. Lips are moisturized. They've had the Fenty moisturizer on for the last hour. This is the shade Nude AF. Amaze balls. As if. Hustle. That girl. Tipsy. Obsessed. Decaf. Independent. Cheeky. Gossip. Isla. Fussy. Sophia. Mom. Uh, okay, this is the first one I've had this issue with. This one's real chunky, real beady. You can feel it on your lips. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, this one's definitely real gritty, as you guys can see. That's what we're looking at. Lots of little beads in this one. This one is perfectionist. Control freak. Hot toddy. Mm. 
badass. Ambition. Okay, so only one of my shades beat it up and that was the shade Mom. Everything else was fine. Creamy, applied really well, no issues. Not a huge fan of the smell, but not like grossed out by it or anything. It seems to just go on very easily. Do I feel like it's something that I've never felt before? No, it just kind of feels very similar to like a MAC cream sheen. Any lipstick really, um, kind of similar to like these CoverGirl lipsticks. I don't feel like it's anything like massively remarkable. They are very comfortable. I don't feel any issues with them. Although that shade Mom, if other people's lipsticks are doing that, which Shay, when that girl Shay XO made her video, a ton of her lipsticks did it. I don't think all of them did, but I think most of them did. Very gritty when you're applying it. You're like, what the heck? It's very weird. It's like super gritty and odd. Maybe I'll try to peel one of those little dots out of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up my microscope again because I got a couple of the little dots of chunk. I got them up out of here and I'm gonna look at them underneath a microscope and see what they look like. Microscope ass bitch. All right, let's see what these look like. Huh, what is that? It's a perfect little circle, whatever it is. Let me see if I can smash it. All right, so I smashed it open and that's what it looks like. I don't know what the fuck that is. All right, well, let's look at mom under the microscope. What are those black dots? I'm just, oh my God in heaven. All right, so that's kind of what you're looking at. Really fucking bothersome. Okay, my friends, round two. We are gonna be doing another microscope test, but this time I'm gonna cut open the lipstick. I'm gonna look inside, I'm gonna see what up, and I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with it, as if this was even necessary, if anybody cares. I just feel like I want it all in one video. I don't wanna do multiple videos on the topic. I don't wanna be that bitch. So when I did the microscope before, I was holding the microscope in my hands and moving the lipsticks. Now. I'm gonna do the opposite. So this is the Lipstick Mom. This is the lipstick I'm going to cut apart. I want to see what these little black dots are. I want to see how deep the issues go in. You know what I mean? I wanna see if the chunkiness is all throughout the lipstick. I'm gonna show you another control lipstick because I don't feel like I did a good enough control the last time. So I don't want anyone to think that I'm just trying to be unfair. This is Charlotte Tilbury, Amazing Girl. You can see the little flecks of glitter throughout. Super smooth. See, that's an, a normal lipstick. This is MAC. Hang up, you can see the little glitter particles, a couple little air bubbles, but the majority of it looks pretty smooth and normal. All right, laying down decaf on my plate so that I can get real up close and personal against a white backdrop. So there's no confusion here. See, I had a couple people questioning me on Twitter when I posted a photo of this, being like, I don't believe that's real. I think somebody put those hairs there. Can you please ask me what kind of, um, what kind of procedure that would have been to embed tiny little hairs into the tip of a lipstick? Ain't nobody got time for that. 
I've got time to do microscope footage, but I don't have time to be embedding shit into the tip of lipsticks. I absolutely did not do that. I didn't do anything. I opened up this lipstick straight from the package. All right, let's see if we can get another angle on this. Ew, what the fuck is that? Is that like growing something? Is that like a clear butter? See, dude, I'm sorry, but you can't make this shit up. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. Look at that. Disgusting. Just disgusting. All right, so those are the worst ones of the bunch. Now I'm going to take Mom and I'm going to cut it open. Here's that gritty lipstick. This is the real gritty one, Mom. I am going to cut it open and then I'm also gonna melt it. I don't have like great tools for this. I just have some like old clay working tools. so weird doing this. I've never cut apart makeup before. This isn't like something I've done. Somebody asked for this on Twitter, okay? I, I normally wouldn't go this in depth. It's kind of fun though. So here are the little beads. I'm gonna pull up the microscope and look at these under the microscope. So you can see one of the little round beads in there. See that? I don't know that I do. And again, this is the tip. So I wonder if most of these are just sitting on the surface, because it doesn't seem like they are all throughout the lipstick. such a travesty but you see I don't see beads all throughout at all in fact I don't know what the heck I'm not like smashing them or anything I'm being very gentle maybe those are beads yeah it's kind of gritty like this this part's gritty all those little dots that you see are from the tip of the lipstick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to melt this with a lighter. Here, I'm gonna circle this. Because here's where all the, the dots are in there. So this flame should certainly melt whatever kind of dots those are, correct? If they are some sort of really easy to melt butter. Okay. So. Looks like there's little pockets of oil what am I seeing there? Air bubbles? Are those air bubbles? So I'm not sure that it is all the way throughout the lipstick and maybe it is just mostly concentrated into the tip. I'm unsure. I think that's as far as I'm gonna go into these lipsticks. I know people wanted me to test the lipsticks on my mouth from this collection. I don't feel comfortable doing that. A lot of people want like a PR versus purchased. I can tell you from looking at them that the purchased ones at least, and maybe this is just a fluke, they are way hairier and more problematic in their formulas and things like that than the um, PR bunch. I'm not gonna put them on my mouth because I feel weird about it. Here's one, this is Hustle. Oh, 
Let me just really dig it in. Let me toss the microscope on my hand and see if those are beads or if that's just normal. Mm, there's a chunk of something, but, and I am no chemist. I don't know, you know, I'm raw chemist Christy, raw microscope Christy. And you know, it could also be that this is all just very poor lab quality, no quality control. All right, my friends, another update. So as I was getting ready to export this video, I saw that Jacqueline Hill tweeted out the following. So she retweeted my photo of the super hairy lipstick and said, if any of you are receiving lipsticks like this, please know that this is not hair. My factory used brand new white gloves to do quality control and they shed all over my product. We switched to rubber gloves two days ago and we'll make sure this never happens again. We'll say that Jacqueline reached out to me via DM and basically said this exact same thing. Jen Loves Reviews replied and said, I'm so curious the logistics of this. Were the quality control people touching the lipsticks with their gloves? And if they were looking for quality, wouldn't they see the fibers? I'm so confused. That lab sounds like it sucks. Very unfortunate. And now Marlena from Makeup Geek is popping off on Twitter. I'm, am I a drama channel now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she said, I'm gonna get scorched for speaking out. What the fuck lab ever used furry gloves? In my 11 years, I've never once seen furry gloves on a production floor. And why is that hair so damn long? If it's a furry glove, it would be very slight fuzz and it's embedded in the lipstick. Oh, and lipsticks are never to be touched on the lipstick itself. So still a contamination issue. Stop fucking lying already. I'm so pissed. This is people's sanitation at risk. She said, I'm all right, I'm gonna say it. I lost respect, not because I got financially screwed from a lost collab. I was cool and moved on until lies like this shit became regular. Enough is enough. Paying customers deserve the truth. I've walked so many production floors and I've never once seen furry gloves. It is always latex ones I've seen. If it was white cotton, it would still not be embedded in the lipstick and it wouldn't be that long of a strand. And this is where we stand at 2.50 p.m. on a Saturday. More to develop in the future, but please don't come back to my channel for it because I am not a drama channel despite how this video seems. Okay, moving on. Okay, so my final conclusion. Do I recommend them? Hey, if they were all just this quality, this packaging, this price with no issues like the hair, the lint, the odd bubbling, the inconsistencies with the melting and the quality, and it was just these lipsticks and no problems, I would absolutely recommend them to you because they're comfortable. But unfortunately, they do have all of those problems, so I can't recommend them to you. If they do remedy all of these things in the future and get everything good to go, then I would say, maybe give them a try after you see some more current reviews. I will mention that these lipsticks apparently have collagen in them, which I believe is animal derived. I think there is a vegan derived collagen that can also be used. I'm not sure which one is used in the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. From what I understand, there is no benefit to topical application of collagen. It does sound like if you got a lipstick that you are unhappy with, they will absolutely refund you and make it right. So definitely reach out to help, I think, at JaclynCosmetics.com. Thank you to Jacqueline and the team for sending me out these lipsticks. I really appreciate it. I'm so sorry that my review couldn't be a little more positive. All I can say, and this is like not, this is, this is, I don't know, but it does seem like my purchased lipsticks have way more issues than my PR lipsticks. Had I just gotten PR ahead of time, I wouldn't purchase these lipsticks and this review would probably go way differently. I think the whole situation from start to finish so far with where I've had in my experience with this whole purchase has been less than like exemplary. I'm not trying to be a complainy whiny little bitch. Again, I'm just giving you all of the facts and you guys can make your own opinions on this. I think that this definitely could have gone a different way. I I feel like all kind of areas slipped in their you know responsibilities and quality to kind of make the whole process so far have a lot more eyes on it and then a lot more negativity coming out about it i just think it's probably got to be very difficult all i can say is i'm sure that jacqueline's probably very devastated at this whole thing and i'm sorry that that's the case i feel bad about this review i don't want to upload it 
but I'm being asked for it. I have to be honest. And it's just like, what am I supposed to do? You know, it's the truth. It is how things came. And it's kind of nice because I do get the experience of an influencer and somebody who purchased the products because I have both. So I can kind of feel a little better about this whole review process in and of itself. So let me know what you guys think. Have you had any issues? Do you feel like this is all just so stupid and blown out of proportion? Or do you feel like, hey, this is people's hard earned money and they deserve to know the truth. And it may seem really ridiculous, but at the end of the day, it's all about you know honesty and just saying what we feel even if it's not the popular opinion so let me know what you guys think and if you guys have liked these products because again I really do think that she did a really good job and I feel very sad that this is the review that I have to give because I want to see Jacqueline succeed I mean shit she's a she's succeeding have you seen her house tour I appreciate your feedback please try to keep it kind in the comments not bashing anybody I don't want to bash Jacqueline I think it's counterproductive and I think it's mean and I don't want to bash anybody I am not bashing Jacqueline in this video just merely my hairy lipsticks and that's all I can say so thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you have not yet and I will see you at my next video bye <laughs> I don't want to upload this I am scared of the backlash I think people are going to hate me some of these lipsticks are I swear to God, I have to move. I have to move. Like, now. As somebody who's been in Get out of here. I'm orange. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, you son of an orange. Come, why am I orange? Hello? If this fucking orange doesn't stop, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill oranges. All of them. So in my, I'm orange. <laughs> I feel like a drama channel. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then Marlene Estelle popped up on Twitter. <laughs> what? <laughs> full drama channel, just full Peter. Love you, Peter.